Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand aliasing and as operator in SQL. So, this is uh, uh, aliasing. So, what this aliasing is, uh, generally we use uh, nicknames in our homes. So, aliasing names. So, other names for the actual name. So, that is what we call it as aliasing. In SQL also, we do aliasing. So, the need for aliasing, we will try to understand. So, before that, the definition states that aliasing or the temporary, temporary names given to the columns. So, uh, columns and also for tables. So, and also for tables, uh, uh, tables, but uh, the aliasing is given, the aliasing is provided uh, to the columns by using as operator, whereas for tables, we don't use as operators. So, this point is very important to understand and this is, uh, this is their uh, this is how the Oracle will work. Okay. So, whereas in other uh, uh, database management si system softwares, the as is used for aliasing both tables and columns. But whereas in SQL, we use uh, aliasing uh, by using as by using uh, as only to the columns. But but for tables, uh, we just uh, give the space uh, beside the table name and we just uh, rename the uh, alias the table names uh, we will try to understand this by using examples before that what is the need of aliasing consider these tables uh, this table we have considered in our previous example and also this query we have considered in our previous example by using this query we are going to identify the students who belong to csc department if you haven't watched our previous video please watch that video so the explanation about this query has already been made now what we have done is we have renamed the uh, column names we have renamed the column names the column names are uh, see here the very important point that we have to understand here is here the name the name column and the name column in the department table both of them are of same names this column and this column are having the same name by name okay so what happens with this type of representation let's try to see this query uh, the same query here d number is equal to and also the d number of the department table and the d number of the student table both are of same names see here here d number is equal to d number and name is equal to csc now with this name is equal to csc what happens with the sql is it will get ambiguous this is the amb ambiguous representation of the column names so uh, what what is the ambiguity with the uh, happens with the sql is the ambiguity is it it does not it it, it, is, it will not understand whether to take this name from the department table or to take this name from the student table so let's try to execute this column and see what is the error that is presented by the sql and after that we will try to understand how to resolve this problem see here both are the tables with a name uh, in the student table and the name in the departments table now we are using the same query and here the name is equal to csc now the sql will get confused whether to take the name from the student table or from the departments table so let's see that so column ambiguously defined the name column has been ambiguously defined how to solve this how to solve this is so there is no need to change the column names column names uh, there is no need but we can do it for this query temporarily we can change the names of the tables and also uh, for the column names so that can be done by using uh, uh, aliasing concept and by using as operator okay so right now uh, we don't try to change the uh, we don't use the as operator we will change the names of the table so this is the query so try to get this query so this query okay uh, so i'll highlight these parts okay this one uh, this one is the part that needs to be highlighted and uh, this one okay so now now students comma uh, space yes so this is how we are changing the name of the student try to get this point see here student comma yes what it states is the student table has been aliased as s yes. 
so in this query temporarily it is not permanent departments comma uh, department space d with this we are going to get that we are going to know that the department table has been uh, the department table has been aliased the department table has been department table name has been changed to d and see here yes dot name yes dot name means we here we are having two name columns this column and this column which one we would like to present it is yes dot name means in the students table uh, we want to get the names column in the students table the names column has to be printed displayed okay and here we are giving the clarity to the sql query uh, we are stating that s dot d number is equal to d dot d number so yes dot d number is equal to d dot d number so that differentiation is made is made by using this aliasing column names s and d okay and d dot name is equal to csc d dot name is equal to csc this is how the table aliasing can be done okay and uh, one more thing column aliasing so what happens with this column aliasing is s dot name s dot name has to be identified and that has to be displayed as the stu name for that we have to in order to alias the column names we have to use as so as means so s dot name should not be printed we want the display to be stu name so for that to happen the column names can be aliased by using as operator okay and the dot operators are used to identify the tables the columns of the tables so the aliasing name by using the aliasing name uh, uh, we want to use the column names so that can be done here by using dot operator okay so this is how the aliasing can be done so we'll try to execute the same uh, query on our uh, sql software by using this uh, new query see here here uh, this one yes dot name uh, the same query let's see whether we are going to get the output or not see here the same query has been printed but it is it is representing it as name but we want to we want to show the name of the column as stu name so for that here this is the query so s dot name as stu name in order to change the name of the column temporarily it is not going to permanently change it is just aliasing okay so the the display you, you want to change the display of the display uh, of the output in a specific way the column names in a specific way that can be done by using as okay so this is this is going to give the same output but the column name is aliased as stu name okay so this is all about aliasing hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching